All right, now we're going to briefly look at asymptotes. Um, asymptotes are when the graph, a lot of times it where it breaks, but it doesn't have to be a break, but it's when that graph will get really, really straight or flat or approach something. It's going to approach a value. So this problem here, it says, what's the slant asymptote for this function? So what I'm going to do first do is graph it, and I'll show you the easy way of getting an answer. With Desmos, asymptotes, I think, on multiple choice tests are very easy to get correct. I'll show you why. So graph this with me. So I have this graphed in. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the graph a little bit better. 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 8x plus 1 over x squared minus 5. Oh, minus, that's supposed to be an x. There it is, minus x plus 5. Now my graph is correct. The problem states, which equation represents a slant asymptote? Slant means like diagonal. So one of these lines will represent this diagonal portion. It doesn't necessarily represent the middle, but it represents the diagonal portion. So if I just graph these answer choices, one of these will kind of like overlay the slant pieces. So there's answer choice A. Here is answer choice B. Here is answer choice C. And here's answer choice D. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the answer choices and so you can go one by one and see which one's correct. So now, looking at this graph, we're gonna look for the one that highlights the slanted portion, this diagonal portion of the graph. So answer choice A, does it kind of like overlap the graph? Like almost like following one another? Does it seem to overlap? I'm going to say it's kind of similar in its slope, but they don't really overlap. You see how there's a gap between them? Yeah. So the slope is good, but it doesn't really overlap. So I, for that reason, I'm thinking A is going to probably be wrong. It's a decent answer, but it's not the, I don't think it's going to be the best answer. So I'm going to unhighlight that. Uh, let's look at this one. What do you think on this one? Better or worse? It intersects it, doesn't it? What do you think, better or worse than this one? It's better. better, does it look more like it? Yeah. Okay, we're getting closer. I'm gonna leave it for a second. Let's try this next one. What do you think about this one? Better or worse? worse. Way worse, blue's out. That one's not even close. What about this one? Worse. Yeah, that one's even further off. So it looks like to me, that the red one was the best answer. But now here, I'm gonna show you a trick with asymptotes. You ready for the trick? With asymptotes, if you zoom out, all of a sudden you can tell really well. You see how close they look when I zoomed out now? Now you didn't know that at first. I just wanted to show you from the home screen that you can look at it and it's just like, well, they're somewhat similar, but they're not exactly the same. As soon as you zoom out a little bit, you can start telling, oh wow, those are like right on top of each other. Whereas this one, you can still see there's a gap. Remember the top one is what we said was a good option. It's the same slope, but there's a gap. That's why it's just a little too low. This one's the right spot. So for the reason, that's the correct answer. By the way, if you want to do this algebraically, you would just divide. And so uh, that's what, how you, if you remember when we taught long division, that's the math skill of going to use algebra is you do long division. That's the concept. Now, I'm not gonna work this out just because it takes a little while to do so. I'm just writing it out so you can see, and I'll do the first little portion, is you would start by saying, what do I need to divide two X cubed by, or excuse me, what is two X cubed divided by X squared? And the answer would be two X. Two X cubed divided by X squared is two X. And so that's where that portion of the equation came from. And once you would reduce, the next division would give you the minus three. But that's how that works. And that's why this one had such a good slope. There's also two X.